listening to Good Morning Gwinnett, a division of Noise Media Network, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, sharing stories about people and places around beautiful Gwinnett County and beyond. Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Southern Living at its best. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnishian out there in Gwinnett land and all of you around the world listening to the sound of my voice. It is a beautiful day here in Gwinnett County, 55, 53 degrees going up to a high of 67. Yes, yesterday was beautiful too. Do you hear me? It was gorgeous. I went outside and I was like, man, this is so nice out here. Now tomorrow, um, it's going to be kind of nice still. It's still going to be nice, but it's going to be a chance of rain. So, you know, and then the weekend, the temperature dropped back down to the, to the 40s. Oh my God. But I don't have anything to do this weekend, and it's going to rain, so I will be in the house. I don't know about you, but I've been in the house today. I got to go out, so it's beautiful. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Today is Wednesday. Yes, February 10th, baby. It's hump day. You made it to the middle. Give yourself a round of applause. You made it to the middle. You only got a few more days to go before it's the weekend. Hopefully where you are, the weather is nice, but here in Gwinnett County, it's going to be raining and a little bit chilly, so I will be in the house. I got cleaning to do anyway. I'm ready to start spring cleaning. I got some stuff to throw away, so I'm ready to start doing some spring cleaning. So, so I'm okay with that. But um, it's going to be pretty chilly starting on Friday. Going right right through Sunday. It's probably going to be cold. So unfortunately, Valentine's Day, rainy and cold. Get me a lobster, and I'm good for the day. I'm just saying, you know, that's all I need. Lobster tails, crabs, I'm good. I don't need nothing else. Get me a box of chocolate, a small box, a tiny box, maybe like a candy bar. Not even a box. Y'all know I'm trying to be I'm trying to do right. I'm trying to be healthy. Now I am I am working on being healthy. And I'm I'm get, I gotta give myself some credit. I've been doing pretty dark on good. Anyway, glad to be here with you this morning. We're gonna get on with our show. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna t- now listen. Listen here. Don't blame me. I didn't make these national holidays. But today, don't blame me. I just read the national holiday. Today is National Cream Cheese Brownie Day. Ooh. That sounds absolutely delicious national cream trees brownie day i didn't make the holiday i'm just telling you what the day is listen don't go out there and eat all that that uh, cream cheese brownie and blame it on me it's not my fault i'm just telling you now it's not my fault it do, does sound good though it does sound good cheesecake is one of my favorite things now here's the thing it has to be made a certain way like i make it sometimes i made it one for christmas um i ain't do it right i think i put i think i beat it too much I make mine a little bit different. Like, I don't put all that stuff in there. But I love, I, let me tell you who, who Cheesecake I love. Cheesecake Factory. The one that they drop off at the Barnes & Noble with the red velvet in it. Oh, God. Haven't had one in a whole year. However, one day I may go over there and get me one. Maybe in the summertime. Not right now. I'm still trying to stay, stick to my plan. All right, let's go ahead and get on with our horoscopes. Brought to you by Noted Astrology, Mike Thompson for the day, Wednesday, February the 10th. We're going to kick it off like we always do. And that is with Aries. Take a look at your legal position. Talk to someone you trust in order to see the whole picture. You may be sensitive concerning friends and their situations. Listen, talk to somebody who has the whole picture. Don't talk to the person who's going to give you the one-sided answer. There's always two sides to the story, and then there's the truth. So talk to somebody who you feel has the, they got the whole picture. Taurus, be careful. You may say something that you'll regret later. You, your concern with older family members and those less fortunate than yourself will only add to your attractiveness. Don't be too hard on your mate. Listen, Taurus, I say this all the time. Do not say something that you're going to regret because once it comes out your mouth, you can't take it back. So think very long and hard, especially if you're in a situation where you're annoyed about something. Think very long and hard before you say a word because once it's out your mouth, there's nothing you can do to take it back. Nothing. I don't care what you say, how many sorries, you know, I didn't mean it. It, it doesn't matter, you know, because in, per- in the back of that person's mind, they're thinking about what you said. And every time they get pissed off, they're going to think about what you said. So I'm just telling you, don't do it. Because once it comes out your mouth, you can't take it back, you know, so be careful. Gemini, don't reveal anything about your personal life to those who may use such information against you. You can expect sorrow to evolve from the information you discover. Plan your day thoughtfully, but try not to rely on others. Listen, keep your business to yourself. That's all I'm saying. I always say, if you don't want anybody to know, Gemini, don't tell nobody. Because the minute you share, the minute you have the opportunity for someone to share it with someone else. 
right? There's an opportunity for that. So if you don't want your business out, keep it to yourself. I'm just saying. Cancer. Someone close to you may need help. You can get ahead if you work diligently behind the scenes. Be careful disclosing information. Here go, here we go again, Cancer. Just like Gemini, listen. If you don't want your business out, don't tell nobody. Don't tell a soul. Don't tell nobody. Don't. Don't. Do the work behind the scenes. You know, you want to get ahead, do the work behind the scenes, but don't share your information with nobody. Yeah, be very careful about disclosing any information. I wouldn't share a thing. Keep it to yourself. Leo, spend some quality time with your lover. Get busy putting your place in order. Anger might lead to carelessness and minor injuries. Listen, you so mad, you just falling down and, and, and tripping over yourself. Stop. Take a minute. Matter of fact, take two. Control your anger. Manage your anger. If you are so you so angry that you could cause minor injuries to yourself, you just out of control. Stop. Pump your brakes. Take a minute and control the anger. Here's the thing, because it could make you hurt yourself or somebody else, right? Because you could be careless in it because you're so mad and the carelessness could cause, could cause injuries to you or somebody else. And then you have to live with that and regret of being so mad. I've done that before. One time I got, let me tell y'all something. My mom, so my mom, my brother, they think I'm so mean. And y'all probably heard me say this a million times. They think I'm the meanest person ever. And my mom would always say, oh, you're so mean. And I was like, mom, I'm not mean, though. Because I, I don't think I'm mean. But let me tell y'all this. So I was living in Jersey. And um, I had ordered some 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 chicken wings from this pizza, this pizza restaurant. And they kept, I ordered like three times. They kept sending me the wrong chicken wings, right? And so when I, so, so they came to my house. They delivered the wings. They brought the wings to my house. And every time they brought them three times, they were wrong. And I kept saying, instead of somebody saying to me, miss, what you're trying to order is not, because I was ordering buffalo wings. They kept bringing me barbecue wings. And I don't like barbecue wings. I don't like barbecue chicken. And they kept bringing out these wings. And I was like, what is wrong with these people? So I got pissed off. Now I'm pissed because it's like the third time. So I get in my car and I drive to the restaurant. And as soon as I walk in the door, they don't know me, but they must have assumed that it was me. And it was like they were giggling. And I was instantly pissed off. And I said, I've ordered these wings three times, and they've come back wrong three times. I was being, I was very calm, but I was mad. And the girl said something snotty. Like, she called a little manager, oh, a little young girl. She said something, something slick, right? And pissed me off. And I threw the wings at her, and I, and it was, a, it was a tip counter. It was a tip jar on the counter. And I threw, the, I threw that at them. And they going to come from behind the counter. It was like a couple of them. And I was like, okay, this is about to go down right now. But then they then somebody called them. Now y'all come back behind the counter. Y'all, I said, now it's about to go down. This old lady about to f somebody up right now. I was pissed, and I was so mad. And my mom said, <laughs> I think she tried to send my husband to go get me. He's like, oh my god. She said, oh my god, she's going to jail. I was furious. Now I later regretted that. I I really really did. I'm sure that was caught on camera. I was so mad. But I I've never eaten from that restaurant again. That's been probably ten years. And I wasn't proud of it. I was just mad because. I went in there after ordering three times, and instead of somebody saying to me, hey, this is what you're ordering, this is what it is, they were giggling, and they knew it was me when I walked in the door. like, that's the lady with the wings. They, they said it just like that, and I'm like, this is funny? I was pissed. I was mad as fire. I was, I, I was mad as spit. Do you mean I was mad as hot spit and some stink of breath? I was so mad, and and the girl came, the little manager came to the counter. She's like, well, there's nothing we could do, and she was like snotty, y'all. And I was like, oh, my God, no, she didn't. So I tossed the wings over the counter at her, and then she said something. And then by that time, I was even madder. I slapped the the the, the tip jar across the room at her, and then, then the little other two little kids come from behind the counter. And I was like, I know they done lost their minds. And they somebody said, somebody, 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 come back, come back, come back. So they went back. I was so mad, but I felt so bad later. I felt like. I was just, I was so mad at myself for letting myself get that angry because I was, I was livid. And I, and, and you know, I try very hard not to do that. And so my mom, to this day, if she was living, she would tell y'all I'm mean, but I'm not mean. Because here's the thing, if someone comes to me and say, Audrey, this is wrong, I need to try to fix it. I'm a fixer, just in case y'all haven't figured that out yet. Like I fix things. Like when my mom passed away, I beat myself up so bad because I felt like I should have been able to protect her. Um, 
and and I and I couldn't fix this. I couldn't fix her past. I'm a fixer, but she she like that. She was like that. She wanted to fix everybody, and so I get it from her. Like my brother now, we got these different traits. He got her um, go to work every day kind of trait. I got my dad's entrepreneur trait. I got the I'm a fixer trait from her. Yeah, let's fix it. Let me fix it. I can fix it. That's me, and I, and that's not a good trait. That's a, that's a semi good trait. But she thinks she was. She thought I was very mean. But I'm not mean. I just and when when I get to the point, like you have really done something for me, get that mad. I was angry, and I was like, I never want to be that angry again. So now, whenever I feel myself getting mad like that, I have to go somewhere and sit down and just think about what's about to happen because it's not a good thing. All right, I just had to share that with you, Leo, because I want you to I want you to understand that your anger could cause harm to someone else or yourself, and you don't want either of those to happen. Virgo. You should make sure that your personal papers are in order. Try to get everyone involved. It will help bring you closer together. Your ability to visualize will help you convince others of the possibilities. Yeah, before you can convince anybody of anything, Virgo, you got to believe it yourself. You got to see it yourself. Let me tell you, I closed my eyes. I told y'all this last year. I closed my eyes and I see the Good Morning Gwinnett logo on the wall behind the reception desk as soon as you walk through the door. Like I see it. It's like, bam, it's like right there. I visualize it. I see it. I know that this is going to be a multi-million dollar brand. I already know in my spirit, in my heart. And when I close my eyes, I see the logo on the wall, big logo right behind the reception desk. You walk through the door, you see a beautiful receptionist. The reception is there. There's a logo. Say good morning, Gwinnett. There's a water fountain. In the, I like water fountains. There's a water fountain in the, in the corner to bring in that good energy. It smells good in there. You got the, the aromas and the fragrance. Y'all with me? Y'all feel it? So you got to see Virgo, you got to make them, you got to make them feel it. You got to visualize it so you can convince others of the possibilities. My brother used to tell me, and I don't know, I must have lost it because I don't feel this way now. But he used to say to me, man, you can get anybody to do anything. And I was like, you think so? He used to tell me that all the time. And I never thought that. And I I definitely don't think it now because I'm like, if I can get anybody to do anything, trust me. Good Morning Gwinnett would have been a multi-million dollar brand uh, 2018 when I launched it. Um, but he used to always say, well, you can get anybody to do anything. And I'm like, really? Maybe I was a different person back then. And I'm trying to get to be that person. I'm, I'm working on being that person again. Not that I want to use that type of power for any wrong, but I do want to build a, a business that leaves a legacy. So I'm, speaking of legacies, I was watching the Food That Built America. They did like a sneak preview last night. That's my show, y'all. All right, listen, I'll talk about that more later. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the harvest because brought to you by Noda Astrology and Micah Thyssen. Stay tuned.
back. It's your girl, Audrey Bell Kearney, giving you the Daily Harvest Cuts brought to you by Noted Astrology, Micah Thyssen. We're going to pick it up with Libra. Opportunities to upgrade your living standards will come through your lover or through joint financial ventures. Deal with the needs of children and get into groups that deal with self-awareness. Mingle with those who have similar interests and you should be able to start something. Yeah, find you some people with some similar interests. That is the greatest thing of all. I was listening to Ed Milet. Y'all yeah, know I like Ed Milet. Cause I think he drops a lot of wisdom and he was saying, um, he was, he was do, doing the analogy. Like you, you know, they got, they always say you're around the, you are the combination of the five people that you're around the most. Right. And so if you're around people who are not really doing anything, you're not going to do anything. You, you just aren't because you're not motivated. You know, you're not that you don't, they don't have ideas. They don't see now. Like you may have ideas, but they don't have ideas. They don't have motivation. It, and you around those same people all the time. You're going to be right there with them stuck. Right. That's why I cannot wait to get back out into networking because I love being around my peers. I love being around people who um, who had similar interests. I love being around people who had a go getter attitude like they were. They were go getters like me. That was high energy for me. Like, that's why I miss networking so much. So that's why I'd be so glad when we can actually get out there and really hang out with each other. But, you know, you want to be around people who got something going on. And, and and finding people in your space, if you are in whatever, let's say, for instance, you are a cake baker, right? You're a baker and you know that you want to have this, this bakery and you want to, you want it to be successful. Then you find other bakers, you find other bakers that's baking cakes and y'all get together and y'all talk recipes and shop talk and marketing tools and tactics and recipe. You know what I'm saying? You love, that's going to give you that energy. But when you just around nobody, don't expect your life to grow. Don't ex- I'm telling you what like I'm telling you. Do not expect to have the life you want if you are around nobody. Or if you're around people who have no dreams and goals. If I see so many people spend so much time on the telephone. Just just on the phone. Do you know how much time you waste on the phone? Like that is something I do not do. I see I see so many people who spend so much time watching TV. Not something that I do. You know, it's just, it's crazy. If you are trying to achieve something, you cannot be around people who are not doing anything. You cannot sit off by yourself and think you're going to grow. You cannot spend hours and hours and hours and hours on the telephone. I think that's such a waste of time. And you cannot spend hours and hours upon hours watching TV. That's a waste of time. And so if, you, if you're doing that, just know you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to stay right where you are year after year after year after year. After, and you're wondering... Why things are not happening for me? Because you're not moving. You're not doing anything to make it happen. All you're doing is wishing it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. If you're trying to really make shit, excuse my friend, stuff happens, you got to get out there and take some massive action. And I just want to share that because sometimes, you know, we get so caught up in like, I'm trying to do this. I'm working hard. Nah, are you really working hard? And here's the thing. You got to ask yourself. And, and I, I spoke to talk business yesterday. Do you really want the thing you claim you want? Do you? Because a lot of times people, I want to do this. I'm starting a business. I'm doing that. And I can look at the people and tell who the ones that are not serious. Trust me, I've been around plenty of people who try to blow smoke up your butt. when They claim they want it. I know you don't want it because here's what I know. If you want it, I don't have to say nothing to you. Not one word. If I sit and tell somebody I've been doing this for 21 years and no, 20, what am I? I'm at 24 years. I'm at 24 years. I might be at, what? I've been doing this for 20 24 years. I think I might be at 25. If I sit and say that to you, right? 97. What's that? 97 is 21. Whatever. Um, if I say I've been doing, I've been an entrepreneur for 24 years and you ask me no questions, you're not serious. Mm -mm. There's no way in the world I could be in the room with any of the people that I talk about and not ask at least one question. You're not serious. Unless you just really don't think that I know what I'm talking about after 24 years. You know, there's no way. So I know the people that are serious. I know the person that's serious because that person is like, you know what? I got to get it. I need to buy the book. I need to go to the seminar. I need to jump on the webinar. I need to get on this class. I got to buy that course. That's the serious person. I know the people. I, I talk to a lot of them. I want to start this business. I got this idea. I have a business. And then you spend four or five hours at a time on the phone. You ain't got a business. You ain't even got a hobby. Because a good hobby person spend time doing the hobby. All right, hate to get off on a tangent, but sometimes I just feel like I need to say that. Like somebody, I feel like a pastor right now. Somebody need to hear that message today. I just had to say that. Scorpio, try to convince friends to take a holiday with you. Limitations at work might set you back. Be aware of colleagues who don't have your best interest at heart. 
Yeah, watch them backstabbers smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. The backstabbers. Backstabbers. I know I'm messing up the OJ song. I know. But listen, watch the people at work. They don't have your best interest at heart, Scorpio. Sagittarius. It may be time to pick up the slack and do your share. Mm, slacker. Socially, you need to, socially you need a fast-paced form of entertainment. You are best to ask questions if you aren't certain about issues that are confronting you. Confronting you. Listen, ask the questions, right? No question is a stupid question. A stupid question is the one you don't ask. So what you got a question? Ask. Better to ask the question to get the answer than not have the answer at all. Oh, I feel like a poet right now. Show enough. Show enough. I, I don't even know what I just said, but I, it sounded good when I said it the first time. Ask the question. Stop. Stop with the, listen, stop with the pride. People, let me tell y'all. Here's, here's where I am. And I've always been this way. I remember, I remember Georgia and I, we were, in a, we were in a meeting. We were in New York when we first launched the first company. Because, you know, we've launched plenty of them together. But the first dog company, we launched a dog company. We were in a meeting in New York up on like the 89th floor or something crazy. And, you know, I, we were dressed. We looked nice. We were very professional. But here's the thing about me. I'm not about pretending, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to save face. Especially when I'm trying to get something. I need to know, hey, can you help me? And I remember going into this meeting and the guy was sitting over there. He was talking and he was talking. I was like, look, we ain't got no money. So we trying to start this business. We need some money. I wasn't trying to be politically correct. We needed money. Now, maybe that wasn't the best way to, to say that, but I wasn't trying to beat around the bush. And then once I got really open about what we needed, he was like, yeah, we don't think anybody's going to invest in that. There's no market for it. You haven't created a market for it yet. We're like, yeah, but we know people want this dog, you know. And so I, I'm just not that person. Like, I'm going to ask the questions. So let me let me say this. I'm going to ask the questions that are important to me. Some questions aren't important. I got to tell y'all, my mom was the same way. So she would always say stuff like, well, did you ask? And I was like, nah, because I don't really care. And then I would ask her the same thing. Why you didn't, did you ask? I know. I said, why? You you ask questions about other stuff that you want. It, let me tell y'all. We had these, we used to have these, these conversations all the time. And. I'm telling you, I am a lot like her in a lot of ways. Like, I'm no nonsense. She was no nonsense. She she called me mean, but I get it from her and my dad. They both were mean. She was mean. Like, if you pushed a button, she was a sweetheart. But if you pushed the buttons now, she will fight you. Remember, I told you she grew up with six brothers. Capricorn, don't let relatives stand in the way of your personal plans. Don't, don't try to deal with important issues and make changes that will upset the apple cart. Minor accidents could occur if you don't take precautions. Be careful. Listen, don't let your don't let your family, you know, don't let them stand in the way of your personal plans. They're your plans, they're not their plans. So do what you gotta do. Sometimes family members can stand in the way and they're selfish. Like they don't care about what you got going on. What's important to them at that moment is what they want. And then we tend to bend sometimes, like, well, maybe I could do it later. Nah, do what you gotta do. They have to wait. They have to wait till you get finished doing your thing. We put ourselves last all the time. They have to wait. If they can't wait, then let them tell another family member to do it. Now, if it's something, like, detrimental, yeah, go ahead. But if it's some nonsense, like, I need you to run me here, nah, you got to wait because I got something to do. If it's not important. Now, if it's, because I, I, let me tell you, I've been in those situations. I've been there. Aquarius, you, Aquarius, you always got love somewhere. You will meet potential new mates through business. It's a good time to take, to make changes to your living quarters that will give you more space. You should be on the road. Like, where are you going, Aquarius? Have some fun on the road. You may meet a new business mate, a new mate while you go there, especially if it's for business. Have some fun. Enjoy yourself. Last but not least, my fellow my fellow fish Pisces, try to enlist the support of your coworkers first. Your mate is going to want to want and need some attention. You can make new connections if you play your cards right. Okay, fish. Got to show some love. First, you got to show some love, you know, to the meat. All right, fish, show some love. They need some attention. Give them a little attention. Rub their heads. Rub their feet. Stroke the eyebrows. Give them some attention, some love, right? Now, on the flip side, you play them cards right, you know, you may make some really good connections, some new ones. Now, I don't know exactly what cards they talking about, how you should play them. They just said play your cards right. That's all they say. You want some new connections. All right, that's all the horoscopes I got for today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. to give you horoscopes and possibly a guest. 
So I said guest last week and then the guest didn't show up because it was an emergency. So possibly a guest tomorrow. Um, and moving forward, I'll be doing some video live streaming soon. So, yes, I'm excited about that. I've been talking about that for a long time. It's finally getting closer and closer and closer. Yeah, it's finally getting closer and closer. Oh, so listen, you know the insurrection that happened on January 6th. They said, this is so crazy. More than 200 people have been charged in that riot. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I wonder what people, I wonder what those 200 people are thinking now while they're sitting about to go to federal jail. Because those are federal crimes. Federal, federal crimes. I, I just, I can't even imagine, like, it's like a bunch of little children. You tell your kids, don't be a follower, be a leader. And they all followed. Now they all going to jail. Yep. They're going to federal jail. 200 people. 200 people. Two Prosecutors have charged more than 200 people with the federal crimes in connection with the January 6th riot insurrection at the Capitol. And this is according to CNN. Um, it, that is so crazy. You know, you and I understand fighting for what you believe, right? But you broke the law, you know, you broke the law and now you got to pay the, pay the, pay the price. Mm -hmm. And I just think it was such a stupid thing, but you know, people really believe what the former president was saying. Like they really did believe that they believe what he was saying. And he, when he said fight like hell, that's what they said they were going to do. And I'm talking about now you about to do, now you have to fight in jail, like hell in jail. Yeah. That's so sad. It's crazy. You know, um, People died, like six people passed away because it was just, it was stupid. And I saw, I saw a video yesterday of the, of one of the, the, the senators or somebody, he opened the back door and let the people in. I wonder, I wonder if he's going to be charged. I was like, did he just open? He opened the door, let them in. They came rushing in. Uh, Capitol police had to come rushing out and push him back out. It was crazy. I wonder, I wonder if he's being charged with any of that. It's just, it's nuts. Yep. I just, 200 people just ruined your life, your careers. This is ridiculous. I don't know. Sometimes you just, I, and I got stupid. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm going to get on off of that. I got to tell y'all a story though. And after, in a minute, after I go to tell you this next story, then I'm going to go to the song and I got to come back and I'm going to tell you, it's going to be towards the end of the show. But you got to, I, my daughter shared this with me yesterday and I was like, you got to be kidding me. It's, it's, it's the most it is had. I, I thought the man that broke into the tire shop and then all the tires fell on him. I thought that was stupid. I even thought the man that broke into Taco Bell and ate him some tacos and laid down on the floor and went to sleep and then the police arrested him because he fell asleep. I thought that was stupid. This story right here, I'm gonna tell y'all later. Top both of those stories. I, I I just can't. I just oh oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Anyway, state uh, state legislator, county commissioners, and Gwinnett School Board Chairman Everton Blair will participate in a virtual town hall tonight at 6 p.m. State Representative Jasmine Clark, a Democrat in, La in Lilburn, will host the forum, which will be done via Zoom and Facebook Live at 6 p.m. In addition to Blair, um, State Senators Nikki Merritt, um, Democrat out of uh, Grayson, Sh uh, Sheikha Rahman, Democrat out of Lawrenceville, County Commission Chairwoman Nicole Love Henderson, and County uh, Commissioner Ben Q will join Clark for this panel discussion today at 6 p.m. So if you're interested in seeing more about this, um, to hear more about what's on the panel, um, you can check it out uh, tonight at 6 p.m. on Facebook. Also, if you want to get the link, if you want to get the, uh, if you want RSVP, you can go to Angela. Jetty, J E T T Y, at gmail.com. Angela Jetty, to real RSVP to the email. So, um, Angela Jetty, so if you want to be a part of that town hall tonight, Angela Jetty at gmail.com. You need the RSVP there. All right? All right. I'm going to a song. I'll be right back after this song to give you more of the rundown of what's going on in and around Gwinnett County. Stay tuned. <laughs> Understand it, but everything seems brighter now than before. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I feel this way, but every time I hear your name, all my worries disappear. Yeah, it's all because of.
I don't fall in love so easily Cause I don't wear my heart up on my sleeve yeah. I don't know if you feel the same But every time I hear your name My worries disappear It's all because of stories about all the great things that they do and they you know they gave out a twenty five thousand dollar well ninety two thousand dollar in grant money um back in december and um i, I just always see them doing good things but anyway ten thousand dollars of that went to eyes of love lighthouse mission in buford a grassroots ministry that collects and distributes clothes foods and furniture to needy families in barrow county gwinnett county and hall county to help with rent on the building um on the building housing the mission's inventory so I, I just think that every time I, I just see them do a lot of good stuff. You know, I, they also did, um, gave $5,000 to Adults Protecting Children, Inc. to provide workbooks and resource materials for the Steward of Children program, which offers uh, child sexual abuse prevention in Banks, Franklin, Gwinnett, and Hall, and Lumpkin County. So I just, I wanted to give, give them a round of applause for great the great work that they do. I told y'all we have Jackson EMC, and every year I get back to <laughs> It's a small check, but you know, it's like I, I just like what they do. Like they always doing good stuff. You know, yesterday I told y'all about J. Allen Wilbanks and people wanted him to step down. Well, there were some teachers yesterday who rallied on his behalf. Was like, you know what? He needs to stay. Like they're saying that he, it's because of him because he's been there so long. That Gwinnett County public school system is such a good school system, and they were saying that the new administration has come in that it's all political. Now I don't know the story behind it, but um, you want to read more about this story, you can go to GwinnettDailyPost.com and read the story here. Um, apparently there has been some racist remarks or something that he has, you know, done, I guess over the years. And there are some people saying, I, I'm not happy with this. And we want him to, we want him to step down or we, are we going to vote to fire him? And there were teachers and parents who said, you know, we have a really good school system. And that is because of Jason, uh, J, um, J Alvin Wilbank. So I don't know, I don't know what it is, but you know, the petition that the teacher signed had more than 1,400 names on for, to, for him to stay. And the teacher that the opposers who want him to step down and be fired had like 400 and something. So um, it kind of shows that people, more people want him to stay other than people who have, you know, who want him to go. They say he's been there. Some people say he's been there too long. Some people say he makes, you know, too much money. I told y'all, like, whoo, his freaking salary is over $600,000 a year. I told my brother that yesterday. I said, man, do you know the superintendent of schools here make over six thousand in, in, in our county? He was like, what? Everybody was like, you kidding? I was like, yeah, that's more money than the president make. It is, though. I, you know, now my thing, my question is, since they're saying that, you know, $600,000 is a lot of money, are they saying that the next person to take that job, if they should take the job, won't make 600000 or more? Mm. You know, I'm sure he has a big job, and we do have a really good school system. You know, that's one of the things that I'm, 
I, I talk about all the time. Like, my brother was talking about moving down here. I was like, listen, Gwinnett got the best school system in the county. Like, I know, you know, there may be some other places you want to live, but my nephew is still in school. He got four more years to go after this one. We got the best school system in the county. And, um, but you hear that all the time. And my brother came down, and he, well, he's a football coach, so he went to go visit, I think it was Burke Mar. <laughs> it was so funny because my brother has always taught in the inner city, always. So he's taught at some of the roughest schools, right? So he goes to the school, but I, it's the same thing happened to me. I went to Discovery one day. I had to go, um, I went to an event, an entrepreneur event there, and I get to Discovery, and there were no kids in the hallway, not one. Well, it was one kid sitting by, he was sitting down, and he was sitting at, at the cafeteria area in Discovery, and I'm like, where your kids at? There were no kids floating around the hallway. So my brother goes to Berkmar with one of his frat brothers, um, and he, he's like, there were no kids in the hallway. And so he said, it was so quiet. He asked his frat brother, like, what's wrong? He's like, what you mean? He's like, where the kids at? In the classroom. That's new. That was new. And so we have some of the, the best school systems in the county. And we have one of the, we probably have the best school system in the county. And um, a lot of the, uh, the people that got out in protest yesterday said that it has a lot to do with J. Alvin Wilbanks and his, um, his leadership in the Gwinnett County uh, public school system. So they get out there and they protest. And they's like, yeah, we ain't, we ain't, this ain't how it's going to go down. It's not how it's going to go down. So we'll see what happens. I don't know the full story. I'm just reporting what I see in the Gwinnett Daily Post. So if you want to read the full story, go to GwinnettDailyPost.com and you'll see the story there. So listen, y'all. I got to tell y'all this. Because this is one of those stories that I just cannot make up. And I'm just trying to figure out how this all happened. Like, I really, really am. So apparently, a young lady wanted her hair. So she's African American. So, you know, we don't have that hair which you can just not. Well, not all of us that you can just put some water on and slick it down. It's gonna stay. You gotta add something to it. Some mousse, some spray, some gel, something. So they got this stuff out called Got to Be Glue, and it's a hairspray for your hair. You go to the beauty supply store. You go to the beauty supply store, and you buy the spray out the beauty supply store, and you spray it on your hair. And it's going to make your hair hard. Like, your hair is not going to move. It's going to look pretty. It's going to be laid down. I had some before, and I like it. But you got to be careful with that, too, because if you put it too close to your edges and you try to take it off without wetting it, it's going to rip all your edges off. You're going to have you gonna be bald around the edges. But anyway, she ran out of got to be glue, right? So she decided to put some glue, so Gorilla Glue. Yeah, the Gorilla Glue that you get from Home Depot and Lowe's, not the beauty supply store. Home Depot and Lowe's, Gorilla Glue on her hair. What in the world would possess her to put Gorilla Glue on her hair? And so my daughter was telling me stuff. I was like, nah, you playing. Like, you can't be serious. And he, she's like, no, nah, I'm serious. So she pulled it up on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the internet. We were sitting down about to eat dinner. She pulled it up, and I was like, this girl actually put Gorilla Glue on her head. Like, she, she was a, her, they say that video, she, and she put a video out on Instagram or TikTok. I think TikTok. First of all, that is the most embarrassing thing ever. One, because people have got to be saying, you are out of your freaking mind. She put Gorilla Glue in her hair to lay her edges in her hair down. And it was laid down. Oh, yes. It was laid down so much that it's been laid down in that same position for over a month. She went to the ER. They put acetone in her hair. They tried everything to get that glue out of that girl's hair, and they have not been able to get it out. There's a doctor out in L.A. He said, <laughs> this is not funny, but it's like, Oh my God. So I told y'all about the Taco Bell guy and the tired guy here in Gwinnett County. I tell y'all this story tops it. It tops it. Like, what were you thinking? Like today is what were you thinking Wednesday? What were you thinking? She put the glue in her hair. She could not get the glue out. The glue is probably still in her hair. And I was on this. So after my daughter told me, she's like, which is, I just got to see how this story ends. Like I'm searching and searching. I'm trying, I need to see, is she going to get this glue out of her head? So, so, so there's a doctor out in LA he said he had some commercial grade glue remover. It's unbelievable, y'all. Commercial grade glue remover, and he was gonna get the glue out of her head. It's a process that's gonna take about three days, and it's gonna cost over twelve thousand dollars. So people felt so bad for her. They she went on there, she started a GoFundMe page, and she raised thirteen thousand some dollars like right away because people really wanted to help her get the glue out of her head. My problem with this is that you talking about a chemical in your hair that's Mat it down to your head, and you can't even. When you listen, y'all had to listen to her scrape her head. It sounded like she was scraping on plastic. That's how hard her hair was. And so now they got this commercial grade glue remover that they got to put on her head. I'm so scared for her because that's a chemical. 
that's going to burn through some glue, how do you know it's not going to burn through your hair? And here's the thing. After you get the glue out of your hair, what is the quality of your scalp going to be like? Like, what is your hair going to be like? Are you going to have any? What is your scalp going to be like? Oh, my God. That was a horrible story. But I just had to tell y'all that. Mm, it's just terrible. Anyway, Popeye's has a new sandwich out. Y'all know when Popeye's put these sandwiches out, people lose their freaking mind. Somebody even lost their life last year when they put the, the um, sandwich out. So Popeye has this new, you know, they want to build success again for they wild, the, the chicken. They love the chicken. Now they have a fish version. They have a fish version of the chicken, right? People love the chicken. I tried the chicken. It's okay. I, see, for me, I need, I'm a sauce person. Like, I need more sauce. It was all right. Anyway, now they got this new fish sandwich. That's what it's just like the chicken. Now, I ain't going to lie. It looks good, and that could be because I'm hungry. But I don't like tartar sauce, so that ain't going to work for me. So the fish sandwich is going to cost about $4.49, and the chicken sandwich is $3.99. So you want a new fish from Popeye's? Go ahead and get it. It's coming. I don't know. Listen. Yeah, I'd be careful out there because people was going berserk for that freaking chicken. I'm talking about lines around the corner for days, chicken running. That was ridiculous. It was a, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So, I don't know. I, I ain't interested in the fish. It took me a long time to get the chicken. I'm talking about a long time. Like, I finally ate the chicken towards the end of last year. I was like, okay. I was going to the car wash and the line was short. And I told my husband, I'm about to go ahead and get us a chicken sandwich. Because we, we were both going to the car wash at the same time. And I was like, oh, it tastes okay. My uncle, him, he doesn't like the chicken. He's like, the chicken is too thick. I mean, it tastes all right. I just needed more sauce. All right, listen, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go to my last song, and then I am going to come back and give you my word of inspiration for the day. So stay tuned.
back. So listen, guys, that's all I got for you today. But before I go, I want to give you my word of inspiration. And here goes. Um, It says, I do take my work seriously. And the way to do that is not to take yourself too seriously. Yeah, Alan Reichman said they were right. I take my work seriously. And the way to do that is not to take yourself too seriously. Sometimes we take ourselves too seriously. Take your work seriously. I get it. But don't take yourself so seriously. You Do you ever find people who just want to be a perfectionist about everything? That means you're taking yourself too seriously. It's not about the work. It's about you. Like you, you're putting everything into your work, but then you're putting, you're putting all this pressure on yourself because you're taking yourself too seriously. I love what I do. That's why I do it. But I also have a lot of fun doing it. Right. I also have a lot of fun coming up with great ideas. I got to tell you, all last night I came up with this great idea. I could not sleep. And I, I set my clock to go to sleep at 1030 so I can get eight hours of sleep because I'm up at 630, even though I'm up at five. You know, I can't sleep. But last night I couldn't sleep because I had this great idea for Good Morning Gwinnett and I could not sleep. And I tried and I tried. So finally I had to put on my meditation. I think I slept. I, I was I was woke through the first hour, had to reset it for another hour and then go to sleep because you can't take yourself so seriously all the time. Take your work seriously, but give yourself some break. Give yourself some grace, right? Give yourself permission to smile. Give yourself permission to have some fun. It's so funny because a lot of people think I work a lot, and I do, but I love what I do, and I have a lot of fun, but I laugh too. Like, I laugh. I laugh. My husband said something yesterday that was so funny. I was laughing when he got home last night, and I said to him, you know, remember you said such and such, and he started laughing because it was funny, Right? So give yourself to, to, to not be so serious and take yourself so serious all the time. Besides that, people people probably think you're a dud spud because you take yourself so seriously. Listen, that's all I got for today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m., possibly with a guest. Um, if you like the show and you, and you miss any episode of the show, go to goodmorninggwinnett.com and listen to more episodes there. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook at Good Morning Gwinnett. Follow me on Instagram at Good Morning Gwinnett and follow me on the Twitter at GM Gwinnett. And if you listen to the show on Apple Podcasts, go over to Apple Podcasts and find your favorite two episodes and give it five stars. And if you never want to miss an episode, be sure to download the Good Morning Gwinnett app from your app store. Enjoy the Apple. We got an app there for that. All right. And if you want to listen to it on Alexa, so Alexa, open Good Morning Gwinnett and she will play the most recent episode of the Good Morning Gwinnett show. I thank you again for listening. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you have decided to spend the last 50 minutes with me. And I appreciate you and love the life for that. Please, please, please stay safe out there. Keep your mask on. Stay socially distant. Wash your hands. Tell your family and friends you love them. I'll be back again tomorrow at 10 a.m. God willing. Until next time, make it a great day. Bye, y'all. You've been listening to Good Morning Gwinnett. Make sure to tune in Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time to find out what's happening around Gwinnett. If you like this episode, subscribe now and share with your friends. To learn more about Noise Media Network, visit noisemedia.us.